Hey guys, what's up? This is Stealth coming through, coming in from helicopter drop into Heroes Workshop. Today's video, we're going to be building the Goblin Slayer helmet from the anime Goblin Slayer. Is that what it's called? I still haven't watched this anime since uh, I built this before when I used to live stream, and I probably never will. So cool. But it's a cool character and he looks cool. So the thing is, I've done this helmet before. For a paint tutorial but I never showed how to actually build the helmet because the archive footage was gone and I always said that I would show people how to basically assemble the foam parts kind of show you just how it goes together a bit and any tips I could give you yeah so if you want to build your own Goblin Slayer helmet the foam Peppercore file is linked in the description it's down below you can get it it is free download the file and build one yourself and as always if you're new to Peppercore foam building and cosplay in general and you want to get started this is a great way to get into the hobby. I have an in-depth video on my channel and learn all the techniques. You can build a sample project and then you can apply all those techniques you learned on a sample project on any foam peppercore file you come across and it should be no problem. Wait, hold on. Did you hit like? No? Then hit like. I will wait. What? You did? Okay. Thanks. I appreciate it. You guys gotta understand how much likes help videos. It's a big deal here. That's the currency on Heroes Workshop. All I ask is you just hit like. And you can comment too. I love replying back to you guys because you guys take the time to comment so I take the time to comment back. Why not? This video is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be me building the helmet here. The Heroes Workshop 3.0. Then it'll cut to me painting the original helmet. I'll be going back in time and uh, filming my younger, less handsome self painting the helmet because that helmet came out too good and I would probably do the exact same thing if I was to repaint it. So why paint it again and do all that when that footage is perfectly good. But when you see the segue into the painting, oh man, it's like, Bella, Luna, Stelle. I know more Italian, but I'm just being humble. Like the video, subscribe. Did I say subscribe? Well, whatever, you don't have to subscribe. Uh, if you're passing through and just checking it out, hey guys, check out the video and then you guys can move it along if you want or you can subscribe and check out more videos and see me doing my thing. There's one thing I need to tell you, it's a tip that I forgot to say in the foam building part. The tip is, when you're putting these, this fin and this, this part here, put these on first, then use your quick seal, then use your quick seal filler or anything else you use to fill seams. The contact cement will pull up the quick seal. So, quick seal after the helmet's completely assembled. I thought I would be smart. I'd be like, oh, maybe I should clean. Whatever. Anyway, so build your helmet, then fill your seams. That's all. Because then you don't want the quick seal peeling off. Because it happened to me, and then I had to re-glue it. So it was a rookie mistake. Hey, I make mistakes too. I'm not flawless when I build these things. Sometimes it takes me a couple tries. Anyways. Uh, yeah. These intros are the best, eh? I have like the best intros out of all the cosplay community. They're so professional. Mm -hmm. Why are you so weird? Oh yeah. Man, I'm gonna break these glasses one day. We need a stealth glasses fund. Just so I have money to buy glasses every time I break them. Don't worry, they're cheap. They're like, I think they're like 10 bucks. Will it be an outro for this? Since I'm using old footage? Probably not. I think stealth from the past will probably outro the video. Wait till you guys see the paint video. It's so good. It's so me. Oh man. Anyways, enjoy and I'll see you later. Intro complete. Helmet build now. All right, so since I already built this helmet, I already have the templates cut out. So the scale I used was 9.5 inches wide. You're probably gonna wanna add an inch for like a average head size. My head size is uh, small, medium. So if you have like medium, large, go around like 10.5 inches wide or 11 inches wide, and you should be fine. Uh, this is the dome. You can look on the Peppercore designer. Uh, it has uh, darts, which are like cuts. 
What I did was the, the typical method that I do of taping the seams of that specific piece and then pressing it down. And that way you reduce the seams and you don't have to cut all those darts and then have to rejoin them. So keep that in mind. Also, if you need to see it again, uh, I did it in the building cosplay with uh, Pepakura. It's the one that I mentioned at the beginning of every video. So reference that for any tips and tricks. I'm mad. No, I'm just kidding. I'm uh, feeling good. All the parts are cut out. First, we're gonna heat shape. As always, we're gonna use a heat gun on high. We're gonna heat up the foam pieces. We're gonna shape them on this foam ball. You just press it down until it gets the shape you want. And uh, always refer to the pepper core designer and the model for any areas that are rounded. And that's those are the parts that you would target for heat shaping. We're going to assemble all the pieces with contact cement. Remember, always put contact cement on both sides, otherwise it won't stick if it's just one. Simple tip. Don't forget. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's assemble the Goblin Slayer helmet. Break. Okay, so all the main parts are built. I want to get something tedious out of the way. It's uh, the border that you see around a lot of the parts of the helmet. So there's a border here, it's like a raised border. There's a border around here. Yeah, there's a border on this side and then this area here. Okay, so I'm gonna do the trim using the original template. I'm just gonna trace on the foam. That way I know that this section is gonna fit. Trace this. I'm using a uh, three millimeter craft foam, I think. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna freehand a border. Okay, so here's the trim. It's all cut up. All you wanna do is just simply line it up and then glue it down. Okay, what you wanna do after? 
we'll just clean this up with the rotary tool. That way it's nice and level and you won't have this kind of like uneven line here. So you want to do the same thing to this front crest. Um, so just the border here comes around here and then only here this part here comes around on both sides. Okay so now I'm just going to give it a quick touch with the Dremel rotary tool and just soften all the edges and then she'll be ready to assemble the main sections of the helmet. Okay next you want to fill in these seams. I'm going to use some quick seal. It's acrylic caulking. It's a um, water base so uh, once you apply it and fill your seams you can use water and with your finger you can smooth it out. That way it kind of feathers into the rest of the helmet. Another area you want to probably put the quick seal is this seam here. That way so it looks like it's one piece. So the helmet's all filled and sanded. Now we're gonna add some physical damage. So I did a little test cage to simulate the front of the mask and I did a little bit of scarring here. And I did a little bit of blood, but I don't know if I'll do that or not. But that's what I wanna go for, that look right there. What I used to do these scars was a wood burning tool. Nasty. Now you gotta wait for the sealing solution to dry. Okay, so now the Goblin Slayer helmet is all sealed up. We're gonna paint it with a silver paint. This is a silver acrylic paint, liquid metal by Sergeant Art. You can find this in the description and get your own. It's a really good paint. I uh, hand paint a lot of stuff and this stuff is really excellent because it goes on very thick and gives a beautiful metallic shine. All right, here's the Goblin Slayer, all painted up. Hope you guys like it, thanks for watching. See you later. You still gotta do the weathering. You gotta do those horn things. Why did I pick this Shadow effects, brushing, all that stuff. You ain't done, man. Aww. So next for this helmet, now that the silver is all painted, I'm gonna give it acrylic uh, wash with black paint. Just take some, uh, any kind of acrylic paint. And then just water it down a little bit. You just want to put it in all the little crevices and scars and all that just to make all those details pop. You can see, it looks pretty dull, just that silver. So this weathering effect will really give it some character. Probably going to water it down a little bit more. I'm just going to do this test area here. Don't put too much. I think I put a little too much. That's okay. You add the wash. Gives it more layers. So here's the helmet with the wash. I did a pretty heavy wash and sometimes twice in some areas just to get more of the uh, trim to pop out. Uh, there's also an alternative if you don't like a lot of the uh, wash. You can also keep the wash on the edge and bring out the uh, original surface a little bit. So you just take a paper towel and you wet it. You gotta do it before it dries or else you're kinda screwed. So you just kinda wipe in the inside part but leave the edge. Uh, some areas here on the helmet 
they're already dry, so it's gonna be hard to take off a lot of it. So it's up to you, you can have a fully textured wash, or you can just have it in sh certain shaded areas on the edge mainly. But remember, if you're gonna do this technique, you're gonna have to do the paper towel with the water pretty quick because it's gonna start to dry, otherwise you can't do it. I think you might need alcohol, I think. So here's the helmet all weathered using the uh, wipe technique, so using the water or alcohol depending on how dry the paint was. That way you can get a nice shading effect without using an airbrush. Airbrush should be nice, but not everyone has one. So this is just the next best thing, I guess. Focus. Focus. There. I'm just gonna find just a few areas. I'm not gonna go nuts with this brown. I don't wanna kill the entire look. Make it look like poop. So I'm just gonna find areas where, I don't know, where dirt could have gone. And then just take the paper towel and go around to where all the areas you put it. Dab it up. You just got a little smudge right there. Okay, so here's the Goblin Slayer helmet. Painted, weathered, and then I, like I said, I removed a lot of the surface wash just to leave the edge. So next, I'm gonna paint up the ears. Uh, bone, bone horns. Okay, so we got the white horns painted. Looking good, but looking kind of plain. So we're gonna take that weathering color again, similar to what I did the helmet initially. Just dab it. Okay, so now we're gonna add the back thingy. I think it's feathers or a rag. And since I don't have any feathers, I can only make the rag. So I just had this t-shirt here. You're gonna have to make it look as weathered as this. So what you're gonna have to need to do with this shirt is you're gonna have to tear it and tatter it up. Okay, so now we have the tattered rag. You can add some more cuts inside. But remember the black wash? I kept that so you can keep some of yours. I'm gonna put it all over this thing. So I mix some red and black. I'm gonna go over the shirt again. So that's a bit better color. So when that's done, you would have taken a tattered rag or shirt that looks like this and turned it into something that looks like this. So now to finish up this paint job, we're gonna add some blood. I'm just gonna do a blood splatter right here. So it's gonna be like you just killed a goblin. Right hand, it was just sword hand. <laughs> splatter all over his face. Okay, so it's the next day, and here's the tattered rag, it's all dry. I left it on this uh, stand here because it was really soaked. So now I'm gonna take this rag, use hot glue, contact cement, glue it in there. Because it's open, it's a perfect place to hide the rag. I got this mesh stuff. It's like a nylon mesh material, it's like a bag. I think it's a sports bag, you put like stuff inside so it doesn't stink. Uh, you can cut it to size if you want for the front uh, cage. So you just cut a piece and you can just glue it in there like so. You get that cool uh, grill effect. For me, I'm just gonna wear, <laughs> I'm just gonna wear this and then put the helmet on over. But you can do either method. I like this method. Looks more weird. So here's the finished Goblin Slayer helmet made out of foam. And then I did battle damage, painted, weathered, did some detail lines, painted the horns, and then did a splatter effect. And then I did the tattered rag on the back. I learned a lot of new things with this helmet so I can put those in the old memory bank and try it out for other things I do down the road. Everything I use to make this helmet, foam, paint, tools, can all be found in the description. Remember when you use those links to purchase those items, that directly supports Heroes Workshop. So that being said, Project turned out really cool. I like it a lot. I have no idea what the anime is about. All I know is that he, he slays goblins for revenge. It's good enough for me. Also remember to follow all the other social media links. Everything is linked down below in the description. This is Stealth from Heroes Workshop. Remind you to keep building and have fun.